Hey guys, and welcome to my channel, Crown of Glory here. It's Davina here, and today I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. So today I'm going to be reviewing this right here, the Bondi Boost Wave Wand, and I have the smaller version. I have, I can't remember what size it is, but it's the mini. I have been wanting to review this for so long, but I haven't gotten around to doing it. I had took a social media break, and also um, I just wasn't up for it for some reason and I was wearing my hair in different styles that didn't require this but now I am so at first I was going to review this on straight hair pressed out hair but I'm just going to do it on blown out hair so I just wash deep condition and blow dry my hair we're going to do an unboxing and a review so when you open the box it comes with the wand of course and then it comes with a guide for instructions and then it also comes with a glove a heat handling glove so you could use this while you're using the wand so you won't burn your hands or fingers and here is the wand it's even though this is the mini it's still pretty big when I first received this, I looked to make sure everything was correct with um, my with my order um, because it still looked the big to me. But um, yeah, this is the mini. So I'm actually happy that I got the mini because I feel like the larger version would have been too big for me to handle. Plus, my hair is shorter now. Um, I did grow out for a while, and, but I cut it again, so it's perfect. So this should be perfect for my hair length that it is now and I can't wait to try this on clients as well and if you look up close it does have like I don't know what you would call that some type of shimmer in the material I'm happy that I got this size because of my hair length and then right here it says body boost and then it has the operations um you could turn it on right here in the middle um up and down on the sides and you can see the temperature right here in the middle and then it has i can't remember the name of this but which you can use so it won't the heat won't be directly on the material that you will put the bondy boost on you could use this so that it's elevated and it's not touching anything directly as you can see right here and here is the cord um, the cord is really long. Like, I don't have enough room to show you guys the cord, but don't worry if you're worried about, like, a short cord. The cord is really long. I have to look and see how long the cord is. But, um, let me plug this thing up so we can get this started. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to be more than new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss now. Okay, so when I initially used the wave room with so much as you see right here it did not come out good so but i have to start somewhere so we'll see how this one comes out um i had to play around with it to figure out how to properly use it This section came out a lot better. I probably used less here, like I probably did a thinner section um, as I moved up because yeah, you have to use thin sections in order for it to come out right. And I would advise to not use a product that's too oily 
too. So if you're going to use a serum before you use this as a heat protectant, then I would advise to just use a little. So I'm going to finish doing all of the rest of my hair. And then once I finish this one side of my head, I'm going to come back. Notice how I scrunched the hair up as I went along with the wave wand. As I kept using the wave wand, I did scrunch the hair with it. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell. As I'm putting the wave wand on my hair, I'm like pushing it up towards the last um, press or weave that I created. All right, you guys. So I did one side of my head, as you can see, and it came out pretty nice. You can definitely see a wave and you can see that my hair texture is a little bit smoother. On this side, it's a lot frizzier and I did not use a flat iron. I just blew out my hair. So I just used the Bondi Boost Wave Wand on this hair. Just blown out here. So I'm going to, um, I did notice some things that I want to mention. So I'm going to finish do my hair off camera and then i'm going to give the final review okay you guys so here are the final results it's really pretty i found that this side um waved a little better than the rest so yeah i really like this so i'm going to give you guys my final thoughts about this body boost wand wave so um it is pretty loose I normally will like my waves a little bit tighter, but this is really cool if I have somewhere to go um, in like 30 minutes or so. And some I don't have enough time to do bantu knots or a braid out overnight or like stretched out hair. This would be my go-to. Like if I just have enough time to wash and blow out my hair and I want it to have like texture, next texture to it, I would use this. Um, I use the highest temperature, I believe. I it was 210 degrees Celsius. The degrees and temperature of the body boost is by Celsius, it's not by Fahrenheit. Um, so I have to look up how high that is in um, Fahrenheit, but I use 210 Celsius. I found that that worked the best. At first I started out with 200 degrees Celsius and then I went up to 210 and that worked really good. And as you guys can see from the side of my hair, that it came out pretty wavy it is on the looser side but i do like it and i know this is more geared towards like more like caucasian girls rather than somebody that's like more on the black side but it still came out pretty good this is the side that i did off camera i actually really like this side this side i did in the mirror this side actually came out looser but I still feel like it still blends it pretty good. It's really pretty. Um, now, some of the things that I had problem with was the glove. So this, it did protect my hand. My hand did not get burnt or anything. And I made sure to keep the, the wave wand away from my neck and face. So I wouldn't burn, I wouldn't get any burns. But um, the only problem I have with the glove that it comes with is that it's not long enough or big enough for my hand. So I have really long fingers, like kind of like long, like guys fingers would be. Um, so yeah, it's not long enough for my hand, but it did do the job. It did cover up my fingers and my palm um, so that it wouldn't get burnt, but this is exposed. But it didn't i didn't let it touch this part of my body like any of my body anyway so another thing that i noticed about this was that um when it was time for me to go clip my hair inside it was like kind of hard for me to not touch this um the temperature control and um on and off switch 
it's right here in, under the um the clamp which you will use to clamp your hair inside the wand so that was a little annoying at first like after uh, about five tries i did start to just naturally keep my finger on this part which is supposed to be on um but at first it was hard for me to it was kind of hard for me to not touch this so it was kind of going off and on at first um because my finger would glide down to the off and on switch so if um I, if they would be open to any recommendations of how they can make the product even better i would recommend to find another location for the switch so that it's not right underneath the clamp because if someone's a newbie or there's some someone that's not used to really doing their hair and they want to try this out um, because i don't believe that this is necessarily a professional iron it's just for everyday people i believe um yeah i would recommend to put it somewhere else so that the finger doesn't naturally glide to that off and on switch another thing i noticed was that um so my hair is about shorter length so i did each um each time i used the the bondi boost on a section of my hair i did it in three clamps so i would go one two three and um it worked best when i kept when i did each um clamp so this is what i mean by that each time i clamped to leave it there for five to ten seconds that's what made it the waviest like the most defined when i would leave it up there for at least five seconds and i probably did about 30 um sections so i'm not sure how long that is but um yeah um it worked best doing it for five to ten seconds per time i put the bindy boost on that section up here also of course you want to like put it away from the scalp you don't want to put it like that or clamp it too close to your scalp you know you want to make sure you have a little bit of room from your scalp or your roots so that you don't burn yourself it heats up really really quick i did really like that as soon as i turned it on it just started heating up and once i was testing it out it got hot really fast so i really like that so this is definitely really good if you're on the go so yeah i really like that and i have texture here as you guys saw my blowout it was frizzy i have naturally curly hair really curly hair natural hair um 3c 4a in this natural state but my hair does blow out really good so yeah as you guys can see it does work on textured hair really good okay so it's not just for people with naturally straight hair or thin hair or anything like that i have I don't really even have the thickest hair, in my opinion. I have about medium density, but my hair before it's blown out is really curly. It's tight curls, kinky curly hair. So yeah, you see that it worked really good on my hair. I'm really actually loving the results. I hope that it lasts for a couple of days that I won't have to use this um use the wand like every day or every other day to keep up the weave even if i did have to do that of course i wouldn't do that because i care about the health of my hair um i don't use heat every day or even really every week when i have my hair blown out but um hopefully this will last for like two days at least um maybe i'll give you guys an update to see to let you guys know how long um the waves lasted in my hair so i keep on looking back and forth i'm just admiring it um so it does remind me of like my braid out when i do it to a braid out on like really stretched out here like close to straight here my braid out kind of comes out like this it just doesn't last long when i do it like that unless i use like a waxy type of product so i'm curious to see how long this will last without me having to reapply the bondi boost I'm trying to see if I have any more remarks about this. Um, like I said, the cord is really long, so I really like that. Um, I started off by recording me using it, and then I went over to my section. I'm in my suite right now, and it went, it traveled good without it um, tugging or anything. The cord swivels 
like I said, it heats up really fast. The glove does does rig. My hand doesn't get hot when I have the glove on. I just wish that the glove was a bit bigger for people that have longer hands. Um, this brand is Australian, I believe. So they use Celsius rather than Fahrenheit in degrees. That's all for this review. Hopefully you guys liked it and you got to see how it works on shorter hair, how the mini version works and how it will work on textured hair. That's the whole purpose of this video for those three reasons. If you have any other questions about this um, waiver, you can let me know down in the comment section so I can address it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.